how are you dealing with not just the inflation question, but the, the Delta variant, which is not going away? I mean, we hope that it starts to turn down. We've seen evidence in other places that it might, Courtney. Yeah, and that is arguably the biggest risk that the markets are facing right now is that the Delta variant or any variant for that matter will slow down the economic recovery. But I think it's been really positive to see how well the economy and the stock market has continued to bounce back from any of that news. And even when we saw a spike in cases at the end of the year, the markets really never dropped the way that I think people were expecting. And it is because the markets are going to be forward looking. They're not worried about what's happening with COVID in the next three to six weeks. They're looking the next like six to 12 months out. And I think seeing how right. many, um, how much of the world really is getting vaccinated and the idea that the economy continue can, can, can continue to go forward with some of those vaccinations is why the markets are continuing to price that in. And so I, I am actually pretty yeah. optimistic here that the economic data will outweigh some of those risks. Let me segue from that, uh, because uh, China seems to be getting hit a lot harder than we are right now. Uh, yes. And you couple that with the, the aggressive actions of the communist government against their biggest businesses. I know you've been a real proponent of emerging markets. Are you staying the course there? I am. Yeah, and I think the way you want to look at emerging markets here, and actually China specifically is going to face some issues with their regulations and COVID increasing. But realistically, they are the second largest economy in the world. And if you're able to scoop some more, up more shares there at a discount, that can be a great buying opportunity. Mm -hmm. And you're actually seeing the smart money do that. There's been about $4, million, $4 billion that's added to Chinese investments from institutional investors over the last week or so here. And that's exactly what okay. you want to look at here is over the long run, still got some great opportunity. What's the risk here? I mean, uh, we, we always kind of talk. I think we always have these conversations about the opportunities out there. What's your, what do you think the greatest risk is right now to the rally in general? Yeah, I think your, your greatest risk is going to be we have to see how the Delta variant picks up and see if COVID cases are going to slow down the economy. Um, I'm not really of the mindset they are, but I do think that that and inflation is easily going to be the biggest risk out there. So just make sure that you have those hedges in place. Hedge against inflation. Make sure you have things that will continue to do well, even if the um, economy maybe doesn't open as fast. There's parts of the economy right. that will work well. So just make sure you're well diversified okay. here.